Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another episode of the Benny the Jet Rodriguez story here on MLB 15 the show guys we are playing for the Frisco Rough Riders currently eight and seven on the year I have to say that a lot of that has to do with the fact that we're performing so well take a look at some of these stats right now these are the league leaders currently in these attributes or in these uh, statistics I should say you've got us leading in hits batting average by a significant number we're actually close to the top in at bats as well which means of course we've been getting up there a lot due to the fact that our team overall has been hitting well and we haven't missed any games yet due to injury not leading in triples. I do have a triple, so I know I'm tied on there with second best, but uh, definitely not number one. Tied currently for best in home runs, though, with four. Trying to improve upon that, of course, but take a look at some of these other things as well. 19 RBI, guys. We are definitely crushing the ball, hitting for power. Uh, we've got speed as well, of course. That's, you know, with Benny the Jet Rodriguez, that's kind of the thing that we're looking for. Uh, we're currently tied for second right now with a teammate, Chu Yang, in runs. But take a look at these stolen bases. It's not even remotely close right now. 12 stolen bases already this season, guys. You saw we're only 15 games into the year, which means that we're stealing bases at a ridiculous pace. Honestly, we really are. 12 stolen bases in 15 games. I don't expect that to continue, like I said, as the difficulty goes up higher and as I get to the higher levels. But right now at the double A level, we are able to hit the ball effectively. We're running with huge speed, apparently, and uh, we're definitely stealing bases pretty easily. So that's pretty good. Like I said, guys, eight and seven. We're playing the Corpus Christi Hooks today, seven and eight. They are a division team for us as well. So we are going to try and stay ahead of them uh, with a victory today. Taking the plate now for the first time in this game. As you guys can see there, we're at the Hall of Fame level in difficulty right now. Um, obviously, the more that we play, the, the more that's going to drop. The higher difficulties, I think, are going to cause us to have a lower batting average and, and things like that. But for right now, like I said, we just have to continue to rake at the AA level so we can hopefully eventually get that promotion. Now watch this here. We are going to make some plays in the field in this game. That probably should have been a double play, but unfortunately, the second baseman, like, lobbed the ball to us instead of giving us a little bit more of a direct throw, so we just didn't have the time to get it over there to the first baseman. Now, my own arm strength probably played a factor in that as well. We've got to try and improve that as time goes on, but right now, that's not a major concern. I think hitting is the most important thing to get that promotion, so that's what we're really focused on here. Uh, down 3-0 in this game already here in the bottom of the third. Got to try and get on base here to try and improve things, uh, get, potentially get us back into this game a little bit, but Man, we are swinging at some ugly stuff there, that slider outside. That thing really looked like it was good to me when it started, and it just dropped right off of the strike zone. So, yeah, that was definitely not a good swing. Down 0-2 now, and we've got to try and eat at least you know, try and take more pitches. That's that's the big thing. And uh, right here, we're not going to take a pitch because that one was inside, but the third baseman bobbled the ball and we're able to get on base hit here. Now, I don't know if they actually put this down as a hit or as an error. I think it went down as a hit because take a look at the way that the ball went here. Bloop! Right on over the third base bag and we are going to get over to first base safely. Now, no outs here in the third inning. We are going to take off and try and get into scoring position, and we get there with another stolen base. Only an okay jump there. Kind of surprising that we were able to get there, but we're testing these catchers right now, man. We definitely have to continue to try and test them and uh, do our best to steal bases, get into these scoring positions, and score more runs. That's kind of the goal right now for me. Um, I think we're doing a pretty good job in the RBI department and that kind of thing. Uh, check out this play, by the way. The second baseman makes a great catch on a sharply hit ball, and he nearly got me out as well. I, I thought that that thing was going for a hit. I almost took off to third, but thankfully I didn't. And take a look at this here, because he's going to grab this thing and immediately sprint right on back over there to second. Thankfully, we got back, and we're going to try and steal third now, try and make him pay for not getting us out. And we do get to third with the great jump. Unfortunately, though, we still were not able to get hit home. So, bottom of the fourth now, two out. Man on second, can we get an RBI here? That's the real question. Or can we potentially take the lead even here with a home run? First pitch of the at-bat, and we are going to get this thing past the first baseman, out there to right field, and I thought the runner was going to try and go home. He did not, unfortunately. That sucked. Now, two out here. I want to get into scoring position so that we can get two guys into scoring position, and we do get the third steal of this baseball game. Benny the Jet taken off. But unfortunately, again, we're stranded there. So despite the fact that we got into range, we just were not able to score. Right here, nearly turned the double play, but for some reason, he threw the ball a lob instead of a, a direct 
you know, bullet throw over there to first base. I don't know what the deal was there, but we did not get the, the uh, double play. Fortunately, though, we did get the lead runner, so it's not the end of the world. Bottom of the seventh now. Still down three runs in this one with the 99 mile per hour fastball from that starting pitcher. He is still just firing this ball in here late in the game. He's thrown a ton of pitches, and this is our really our opportunity to maybe get a hit here, possibly hit one for a home run. So we're really looking for the right pitch here, and we are going to get under this thing, unfortunately, and it is going to be an easy play here for the center fielder. Did not get enough under it to get the home run. So again, we are down in this one still. But bottom of the eighth inning, five to five now, which means that the rest of our team has come through, thankfully, for once, it seems like. But we have a man here in scoring position to potentially take the lead here in the bottom of the eighth. Two men out, and we're going to swing and crush one to deep left center field. Is it going to be good enough? No, not even close. It is. It really wasn't even deep left center field. Off the bat, it looked really good. I, I thought that we were maybe going to get a home run there, but we did not. So again, we are not able to score a leading run. So again, we're down in this one, man, as we get an error there in the field. That really sucked as well. But thankfully, it didn't end up mattering. We got out of the inning with no problem. But man, those fielding situations are getting really bad for me. I've had a, quite a few of those type of situations where I've just bobbled the ball. And it's not really anything that I could do about it. It's just the player's attributes aren't high enough yet. Bottom of the 10th inning now. Still 5-5 five to five right now. Two men out. And we are going to get under this one again. Another deep shot. To left field, but man, it is not enough. Damn it, dude. We just cannot get the clutch hit. Top of the 11th now. Runners on every single base. And thankfully, we are going to throw out the runner here at first base. Whew. Barely got out of that inning, but unfortunately, it was not enough. We did not, we were not able to score another run in this one. So we are going to walk away with the loss in that game, 6-5. to five. Pretty disappointed in that, but, uh, you know, it's not going to happen every single game. I got quite a few hits in the beginning, just wasn't able to clutch up there. Next game now, we are going to be playing a team that is also 9-9, nine and nine, both teams at 500 currently on the air, so we've got to try and stay out there in front of teams like this that could potentially take us over. But let's take a look at the lineup here as we are going to be batting the leadoff in this game. We've been kind of switching around throughout this, this whole thing so far, whether we've been hitting down at the bottom of the order. We actually hit fifth once hit first a couple of times, but I prefer to hit at the top of the order. I like to run. I like to be able to have those opportunities to steal. So here we go, guys. First at bat, and we are going to line one out here all the way out there to left field. Could have tried to test it for a double there on that bad throw, but we are going to st stay at first and get in there for a single to start this game off. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to advance from there. We didn't even attempt to steal. But let's take a look here in the field. Look at this throw by the Jet. Great play on the ball. Are you kidding me? I thought for sure that we made that throw, but for some reason they called him safe. Very disappointing, but still not, not the end of the world. We were able to get out of the inning without allowing a run. 2-0 now here in the top of the second. Two outs, and we're going to try and stay in here and take some more pitches. We have just been swinging at everything, and we've been making contact. We haven't been striking out, thankfully. But, uh, yeah, we definitely have to try and, and take more pitches. Take a look at this here. We definitely got jammed there. But for some reason, it was a blooper, and we got it in between the second baseman and the outfield. So we are going to get another hit. Let's take off for a stolen base here. They totally saw that coming, didn't they? Yeah. We, <laughs> when you run as often as we do, uh, they are definitely going to see it coming from time to time. So there you go, guys. There is a caught stealing, unfortunately, for us. But our next at bat, we are going to make up for it. We get the RBI here, and we advance another runner into scoring position while getting to first base ourselves. Solid play there. 4-2 now in the top of the seventh. This is going to be an interesting situation here. No outs. Can we get another hit here to potentially get on base and try and steal another bag? We haven't stolen one yet in this game. We got thrown out. That was kind of embarrassing. So let's see what happens here in this at bat. Down 0-1 currently. Easy to hold off on that one when it goes that far outside and it's not a breaking pitch. Let's see what happens here in the third pitch. Pitcher delivers and we're going to swing and miss. Ugh. That was an ugly swing. Those curveballs are definitely causing me problems still. Um, I don't know. I, it's possible that I'm going to be able to get on top of them eventually, but I don't know. I, I feel like right now they could just sit and throw curveballs the entire game, and there's no way that I'm going to hit them. 1-2 in the count now as, as we follow that one away. 
I'm still kind of trying to make sure that I uh, that I call for a fastball, but when guys have two fastballs like this, a two-seamer and a four-seamer, it's somewhat difficult to be able to do that. But thankfully, then they only usually have one or two breaking pitches. Now, we are going to make contact on this one, but it is going to be an easy fly ball made here by the left fielder. Didn't get really any power under that one, so it's a little bit disappointing. But again, we're going to have another opportunity here in the top of the ninth. Man on first base with one out, trying to get him into scoring position here in the tie game 4-4. Four four. They did come back and tie this one up, so let's see if we can clutch up here. Ugly hit right out in front of first base. Should have been an easy double play, but the second baseman sailed it into the dugout. So... We get over to second base. Interesting. Now, I mean, we got an out, but at least it was kind of okay because now we're actually in scoring position. It's really not that bad. It could have been a lot worse, to be honest with you. So I'm not really that upset about it. I mean, I, I would have loved to have gotten a hit there at least and, and maybe gotten an RBI, but hey, I'll take it. A couple of batters later, we are going to get hit home here and we are going to take the lead. The go-ahead run gets home. Benny the Jet scores. And yes, we are in a very good situation now, up 5-4. to four. But the next at-bat we have comes in the top of the 11th as they have tied it up. And yeah, we're going to fly out again. Damn it, man. We just cannot clutch up lately. I don't know what the deal is. We can hit easy peasy in the beginning of games. Just cannot do it here at the end of games. Let's try it one more time here. Top of the 13th. Two marathon games in a row for us. Let's see if we can clutch up in this at-bat here. Two out here in the top of the 13th we're gonna have to i mean if nothing else we got to get a single here that's that's really what we got to do we got to get a single try and get into scoring position and try again and get that lead run home so let's see what happens here down 0-1 in the count here this batter's or this pitcher has been up for quite a while and we are going to be able to single here past the shortstop and we're going to get in there now let's see if we can get over here into scoring position this is the big situation here we definitely are the player to try and steal second we've got to be the guy that does it and we're going to take off here, but we get a terrible jump. And unfortunately, we're going to be thrown out easily at second. Hot stealing, but it didn't matter. We were able to walk away with the win somehow in this game. We end up going four for seven in this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Of course, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. That would greatly help out my channel. I would really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys again soon.